Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I'm excited to share with you guys um, a product that I've never owned before and this is a uh, sample unit sent to me from a company called Cronova and they were nice enough to sponsor the video and send me one of their brand new 1080p LED projectors. So uh, this is the first uh, that, that I've ever owned. I've traditionally always have big screen TVs. Uh, the thing with projectors in the past, and I remember back in the day when I used to sell electronics, uh, projectors were very, very expensive. And for the normal person, it just wasn't cost effective to buy one. Uh, but nowadays, with it just blows me away with technology and the price of stuff. It just keeps coming down and getting cheaper and cheaper and better and better. And it's pretty awesome. You can pick this up for a rock bottom price of $90. $90 shipped to your door. So that's pretty cheap. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the projector. This is pretty much um, as I would consider this a very basic projector, uh, but has all the features you would want and need uh, for a projector if you want to project, you know, a movie out in the backyard for the kids in the summertime. That was kind of a popular theme I see a lot of folks doing. Um, if you want to set up a screen inside your house, you can use it inside your house naturally, or in an, an office or business environment, you can use this for presentations, projecting pictures, uh, slideshows, whatever you want to use it for. So let's talk just about some of the features of this here. Uh, underneath the cap, of course, is your lens. Uh, they come with a silicone cap to help protect, so as long as I don't drop it on the floor here, protect the lens. Uh, so I'm just going to keep that on right now just in case I don't want to get any fingerprints on this here. Uh, there's the front of the projector, the bottom, you have a couple of different screw attachments there. So if you want to mount this uh, either to a ceiling, uh, for, for sort of a ceiling fitment or put this on a coffee table and use it kind of when you feel like using it or make it more of a portable uh, kind of uh, a projector, you can do that as well. Uh, it comes with the remote, so it's kind of nice. It's a very simple remote, uh, not much to it. It does exactly what you need it to do. Uh, nice thing about this too is if by some chance something happens with the remote down the road, you do have the cursor buttons, the enter, and the uh, up, down, left, and right buttons directly on the top of the unit. Um, again, if you want to mount this on a ceiling, there is a feature on the inside of the projector which allows you to flip the image. So it's going to work. You can basically mount this however you have to, whether it's behind the TV or in front of the TV, coffee table or ceiling mount or even tripod mount. It's really depend on where you want to put this and how you want to use it. Uh, of course, on top you have a status light. This will glow red when the unit's kind of booting up or in standby mode and blue when you're ready to go. Uh, you have a focus wheel right on top here. It's how you focus your picture. On the back, you have your 15 degree angle adjustment. So if you're kind of projecting this kind of up towards your screen, your image would be like this or like this. You could tip it forward and get it perfectly uh, squared on your screen. Uh, this will go from 33 feet all the way up to 200 inches. Now, again, there's no zoom on this device. So so it is dependent upon where you place this device and what distance from your screen. Um, other cool thing about it here is that it comes with your uh, your com uh, composite uh, audio video cable. So you're not going to get 1080p out of that. So if you want to watch just like a standard definition DVD, you can run that with the left, right, you know, the red, white, and yellow cable. Um, I don't recommend using that because this has other features uh, where you really never have to run worry about those cables. If you did want to use HDMI, you can. That's always an option for you uh, to get full 1080p. Um, I'm a digital guy, so pretty much all my media that I own, I don't DVD anymore, I don't CD anymore. Uh, everything's on, on uh, either USB or network attached storage. So in my case, just to test this out, I went ahead and used one of my 16 gig uh, SanDisk uh, micro USB uh, drives. I just threw a couple movies on there real quick. Uh, they're in an MP4 file format. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many different files this this will play, but MP4 always seems to be a pretty safe one. I assume that if it'll play an MP4, it'll probably play an MKV, uh, but MP4 is always what I convert to. I just prefer that file format. Just works for my gear and my stuff. Um, again, it has an earphone jack. If you want to use headphones, uh, maybe a wireless headphone, depending on your situation, you can do that. Um, on the back, you have VGA input, so if you want to hook this up to a computer and use this as a projector in a business setting, you can. Uh, you have an SD slot in the back, your infrared port, so with the SD slot, you can also use that if you have an SD card, you wanna put a movie on that, or pictures, you can do that as well. It's nice that you have the option for both. It will support both devices connected at the same time. Um, you have your exhaust vent on the side there. This is pretty quiet. You don't really hear this on too much. Just with the, you hear a little bit of the fan running, but it is a pretty quiet unit. And of course, you have your speaker. So the speaker on this is pretty decent uh, for what it is. It's less than an inch speaker, maybe an inch. Um, you can kind of see it from the side there. Um, in the event, 
event of you know not having any speakers it's nice you can still use this uh, if you were you know putting this in the backyard for you know kind of a, a, a camping trip or, or, or kind of a camping environment you know where a lot of folks are bringing their families outside and watching like it having like an outdoor cinema you'll definitely be able to hear this I had it about half volume uh, you could hear the dialogue the whole movie pretty darn clear um, as far as my understanding is uh, as far as my understanding with this unit here I believe it has Bluetooth connectivity which I'm looking on the site now I don't I don't know if if the the manufacturer told me that or if I dreamt that up but I'll have to check that at a later date and get back to you guys on that that would be nice if it did because then you'd be able to just set this up where you want it connect it to a soundbar or a Bluetooth speaker and get better audio right off the bat so that's something I'll have to look into uh, in the meantime if you didn't want to do that you can just use the audio out the headphone out and plug that directly into um, your your soundbar speaker so that's really about it. Uh, again, mounting uh, tap mounting holes in the bottom. So if you want to ceiling mount it or you know tabletop mount it, tripod mount it, you can. You can go to the menu and flip that image. Uh, and of course, on the inside of the menu, as far as the features, your standard brightness, contrast, aspect ratio of 4.3, auto, or 16.9. I had mine set in 16.9. Um, and that's really about it with the projector. Let me just put this down a little bit. I'm gonna read just some stuff directly off the website. Uh, it's got 3,200 lumens. Uh, they call it mini movie projector. They say the battery will last 50,000 hours uh, as it's an uh, LED lamp. Uh, this is compatible, of course, with your gaming systems or any kind of uh, video signal. Uh, they do mention that on the uh, on the on the Amazon listing, but it's not really. Uh, I don't think it's really relevant because any video, audio, or video signal you can run to this. Uh, I don't know why you would want to run just audio. That doesn't make any sense, but. But uh, again, uh, 1080p, 2200 to one contrast ratio, uh, and it says 3200 lux. I believe that's the brightness. Um, they say this thing has a noise reduction of 90% due to its dual cooling fans, and you'll get, again, 50,000 hours. Now, um, I did quickly test this. Now, I'm not set up to have a, a projector anywhere in my house. My walls are full of art and pictures, as you can see just right here in my office. There is no room for a screen. If I do try to utilize this in some way, I'll probably maybe try to get maybe a portable screen where I can bring this up to my folks' house if we wanted to watch a movie up there. They have a very large bonus room where it would be very easy to put a couple eyelets. Um, I know they wouldn't want the screen just there permanently I wouldn't want that in my house I think any you know I'm a real firm believer in anything that's audio video related uh, and smart tech should be there but not the focus of the room I like to have other things be uh, the focus uh, uh, you know of any of my environment um, I don't like to see those things uh, downstairs now I have a 70 inch Vizio LED TV so my downstairs is, is small enough uh, or is, is small uh, so you're not really going to be able to really get this back far enough to have a huge picture, uh, unless you had a pretty large screen. And even in that case, uh, in my situation, it wouldn't really work, not in my bedroom, not really anywhere in my house. So this is gonna be something for me that I probably use more of a portable device. But it would be cool to have something set up that it would drop down out of the ceiling, but I'm not willing to go through uh, the hassle of, of doing all that. But uh, in a pinch, you can definitely put it on the coffee table. Again, I did try it downstairs. I put it on the back table behind my love seat and projected towards the front of the, uh, of the room. Uh, now, the only thing I can say about this right now, um, they do show, and I want you guys to be aware of this, they do show on the listing uh, a family, you know, sitting in their environment with the windows wide open. My downstairs is pretty dark. Uh, my downstairs really only has the back slider and kitchen window at the far end of the uh, kitchen slash living room, and then one large window on the front. And I pulled, closed the front door, I pulled down, it's not a light blocking shade, but it's, uh, I, it blocked a little bit of the light, and it's somewhat dim down there. And this you really couldn't see, even with the brightness turned up to 100%, this is not something you're gonna be able to use in a daytime environment. You'll, you're gonna need something, if you wanna use it just like a regular TV, you will not be able to use this in a daytime environment. It'll have to be a night environment. I did take it into my bathroom and just kind of project it a little bit on the wall and uh, that bathroom had no windows whatsoever, no natural light. Of course the door was still open and um, there was a small five watt night light on but even with that the picture quality became a lot better. You can definitely, it was watchable at that point. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the, although this I think is a great product and um, 
you definitely get a lot of bang for your buck for $90 shipped. You will not be able to use this in a daytime environment. So uh, keep that in mind. Now, if you have a room in your house that you have uh, light blocking shades, maybe you can use that. I kind of picture my parents' room upstairs. They have uh, mini blinds they can crank all the way down. I will have to test it at their house. Again, I would like to get some kind of portable screen to use. Uh, maybe put a couple eyelets in the ceiling when we want to watch a movie in a you know, 200 inch uh, screen size. Um, it'd be kind of nice to be able to just pop that screen up and then when we're done, take it down. So uh, we'll just have to see. Again, you can use this in your backyard if you want uh, for this one's outdoor uh, summer nights. Uh, I think, again, I think it's a really great device. A lot of, uh, I think it's fully featured for what you're getting, what you're paying. The only downside to it is just you, again, you won't be able to use it in a daytime environment. And it is a little bit misleading on the website because they do show a family in watching a movie in two pictures in a super bright room and there's no way in hell well, that would work so because my living room is pretty dark and you, you really couldn't see it very well at all so keep that in mind otherwise if you want to get a inexpensive uh, 1080p projector that you don't mind using um, in a dark environment or a darker environment uh, this could be the one for you so a link is in the description I want to once again thank uh, Cronova for their generosity in sending me this uh, this thing has a four and a half stars on Amazon so it seems like people are pretty happy with it uh, that's out of 121 customer reviews so obviously people are buying this and they are enjoying it um, just to read you a few real quick while I got you here let's see what they say here um, and again this is uh, if you this one person has a uh, if you have kids at home for movie theater night this is great uh, comes with everything you need it didn't have doesn't have the V this says it has Oh, sorry, it does not come with the, this one says it doesn't come with the HDMI cable. It does come with the HDMI cable. There is one in the box. Um, see what anybody else says. Uh, yeah, so it seems like for people's wants and needs, uh, for, for what they're going to be using it, uh, this one works great in both daytime and nighttime, this person says. Uh, I beg to disagree with that. This person said they placed in their bedroom. Again, it depends on the room you're going to put it. Maybe their bedroom is extremely dark. Uh, for my purposes, in my living room downstairs, uh, it, there's, it was very hard to see that. And now I wasn't projecting, of course, on a uh, you know on a screen itself. It was just against the wall, so that might be a factor as well. My walls are more of a cream color, so uh, nonetheless, if you're going to get this, you want to have a, a nice screen to project on. Uh, but I, I will, I still stand by, for, at least as far as my personal experience of the right now, that this will not work in the daytime. And uh, what I do encourage you, if you are in the market for this. Uh, Definitely check it out. There's a lot of folks have commented. A lot of five stars in this here. Um, this person said here, not great display in daylight, obviously. Um, so, but still, I mean, again, for the money, $90 is going to get you a projector. That's very, very competitive. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this. And I encourage you guys to check it out if you're in the market for a projector. Uh, one thing that's great about buying through Amazon, if you don't like it, very easy return policy. So... That's about it, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have this. Let me know if you have any questions and I can help you uh, with this whatsoever. Stay tuned uh, down the road. I'll be re-reviewing this again after I pick up a screen and kind of test it a little bit more. I'll probably review this probably three or four times because I think something like this, you really have to kind of experiment with uh, to really give it an honest and fair review. But 120... 22 positive reviews on Amazon. That's pretty darn good. And if you are in the market, I definitely encourage you to check it out. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Cranova, for your generosity in sending me this. And you guys have a fantastic day. If you like the content, click the like button and subscribe and take care.